now that we've finished Pokemon Carnal, we just got into episode 20. I'm going to get to episode 0 next week, but we got to episode 20, and I said I was going to give my final team on the 20th episode, so I'm holding true to that promise. So my final team, and the one that I'd actually go into the Elite for and champion with, would be Rocketeer, the star that started it all, we started it all with, Condobor, again, the regional bird, heard it. Serapint, the rock snake, Karateon, Eris, the champion, gives you a free Eevee, and, at, and this region adds the new fighting type to it. And plus, since I don't really need, and honestly, the only types that really need to get this point would be Psychic, Dark, and Fighting. Being like, yeah, like, I have coverage on everything else the Eevee Illusions have to offer. Okay, not, okay, Jolteon too, but it, honestly, I don't really need Electric type because I have most of the coverage through, and honestly, yeah, once you have coverage of one that, that, you know, covers the other, you don't really need the others, you know? Like, at most, flying type would be a minor nuisance, but it's just like, I have other Pokemon, you know? I have a bear. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the other thing. I have a bear! Bear tick is easily on the party, because it's a bear. <coughs> Karateon is added mainly because I don't, there's not, because I need a fighting type, and it's a new regional Eevee Lucian, and it'd be kind of weird to not have it, honestly. Like, I don't add an Eevee to my team in every playthrough, like, easily it's, like, one of my least used Pokemon. Okay, not one of my least used, but just, like, it's somewhere. Okay, there's 800, there's, like, 800 Pokemon, almost a thousand. I'm not gonna say it's one of the least used, because even then, by least used, it's, like, only in the bottom 100. But, you know what I mean. Well, you know what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't use an Eevee Lucian too often, so... I feel happy to have a karate on my team. Too bad Game Freak will never make one because that would make he could stop being so cute and adorable and marketable. Then again, the same could be said for all the Pikachu clones. <clears throat> Cub Chew is also going to be on the team because it's a bear and it's so freaking cute. I always wanted a Cub Chew early game, but I could never get it because normally when they're played, it's like by the seventh or eighth gym, it's like I already have my full party by then. Why would I going to take this bear? Or that I have to go through the trouble of grinding up just to catch up with my current party, you know? I'm not gonna start fresh with this new one. I do I do, do that sometimes, but it's very rarely an explicit located exceptions. Like I'd have to like want that Pokemon so badly to get it. And honestly with Bear Tick, it's like it's there, but it's not strong enough. But early game where it's like early, like before even the first gym or like maybe slightly after it, easily on the party. That leaves between the two I caught earlier, between Drummeragon and Woolvor, which honestly would probably rotate in and out between the party of the Steel Dragon and the Fairy. Ironically, the Steel Dragon and the Fairy are swapping constantly, given the fact that one could kill the other. I mean, yeah, the fa I mean, yeah, Drummeragon is Steel, so it resists and could kill a Fairy. But at the same time, Drummeragon is part Dragon typing, could also be hurt by the, the Fairies, making it neutral. So it's like it's got the protection from the Fairy, but it's not safe from it. It has to be full steel to be safe. Well, actually, even then, no, because nothing whole, nothing hard resists fairy. Like, nothing's immune to fairy type. You just take less damage. But honestly, as to what would it enter the Elite for, it would be Drummeragon. Because, while Wolvor is a fairy type, and fairy types are OP, Drummeragon is the steel dragon, and Wolvor is a flying fairy. I have a flying type in my Condivore. So I don't need its typing coverage, while my Drummeragon is Dragon Steel. Two typing coverages that it doesn't cover. Now, admittedly, this will make Eris's Karate on a little bit harder to deal with because I only have one super effective Pokemon, which is Condivore with its flying type moves. Assuming it gets flying type moves, because there are some Pokemon that ha that are of X type, but doesn't learn anything. Like I only learned today, like the freaking. I forgot the name of the Pokemon, but it's the Red Festival Pokemon thing that's part Fire-type from Gen 7, uh, Octirio or something like that. It is a Fire-type that learns zero Fire-type moves. Like, it doesn't learn any through level up or TMs. You cannot even, in like, breed evolution this thing. Why is this thing- you can't even, like, egg- like, give it any through breeding. It learns zero Fire-type moves by any means so far, unless they bring it back in Gen 9 or Gen 4 Remake or something like that. But let's just go with for now. As of this moment, as of Gen 8, when Plat when the Gen 4 remakes and Gen 9 haven't even been out, or Legends Arceus, or any of that crap, as of this moment, it cannot learn any fire type moves. Now, I'm gonna look forward to in two years when it learns like seven fire type moves, and I get the comments being like, What are you talking about? It learns fire type moves, stupid scrub, even though I can't read the date. Yeah. 
assuming it, you know, whatever. But anyway, yeah. So my full team to beat Elite Four is, well, I've gone over it, but Rocketeer, Condor, Seraphim, Karateon, Bear Tick, and Dromoragon. That's my team for, for the uh, League. So, if you want, share your full party in the uh, comments section. Or just be the ones that would be like, I don't know about most of these mods, but this is a guarantee. Or, you know what, if you just want to share your starter, just like what you want, what you start this whole adventure with, go ahead and put it there. I'll take anything. Or even just your favorite Pokemon from this season. Anything. Anyway, later.